Banner Knowledge Bowling Steve here doing our most favorite thing, a ball review on Motive's new Blue Coral Venom. But before we get started, you're not a subscriber, please do so. Like, share, comment, and get a friend to subscribe. That way we can grow the channel and spread the knowledge. Okay, let's jump right into this ball review for the Blue Coral Venom. And, you know, what makes this ball so good? You know, we're going to talk about the core and we're going to talk about the cover. And I want to start with the core because I'm so excited. It's the Gear APG Core. Now, this is an asymmetrical core. It's a low diff, but because it's asymmetrical, it gives us lots of versatility in how we want to drill it. We can get a lot of different looks in this. Now, if you remember, this Gear APG core was introduced in the recoil, and the reason Motive did it was when the weight holes were eliminated, it, it, this will give you more drilling options, so you can get some different looks out of this ball, but what's so cool is this is a medium light oil ball. So we get this kind of versatility in that medium light range where usually we're getting the asymmetrical cores in the heavy oil, you know, the medium heavy oil balls. So this gives us a lot of different looks, which we'll talk about after we throw some shots. Now it's wrapped in the coercion MFH, that's medium friction hybrid uh, cover stock. This cover stock, you know, the coercion gives you so much traction in the oil. I feel coercion makes every ball better, um, but it has the, the, the pearl in it, so it can get down the lane a little bit, but without sacrificing a whole lot of control on the back part of the lane. Let's go out on the lanes, let's throw some shots, we'll come back and talk about it. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're back. Let's talk a little bit more about the Blue Coral Venom. You know, I drilled two right off the bat. 45 by 4 by 25 was the first one I drilled. And the second one I drilled was a 90 by 1.5 by 45. Let's talk about why I did these two balls. The first one, um, the 45 by 4 by 25, I'm going to call that my standard drilling. It puts the weight block in its most unstable uh, position. Uh, versus the way that I release the ball and what that'll do is that'll help the ball you know shape the most on the lane since it's out of balance the ball's really trying to get back into balance and that's that the the three stages of the ball as it as it goes through its procession down the lane you know the skid hook roll as we've talked about before so I'm gonna call that my pretty standard drilling but the second one is a short pin drilling and basically what that does is it lays the core all the way on its side when I release it so the ball is already at a stable roll when I release the ball so now I'm relying on the cover stock and and my rotation to make it shape this is a great ball for me when I'm on shorter and flatter patterns because I can move more to the right and I can go more up the boards and because it's a medium light ball it fits so well in my bag because when I do this in other asymmetric cores, they tend to be medium, medium heavy balls. And sometimes you do need a lower uh, responsive ball when you're on some of these shorter patterns. The different looks that I get out of these two drillings because of this core cover combination is amazing. 
What I suggest is you go to your pro shop operator, ask them to order you a blue coral venom, get it fit for your game, get it drilled for what you're seeing, and you're going to love it. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.